well is you have to be a descendant from King David or Joseph according to some, but regardless, he was not the Joseph you're thinking of, a different Joseph, but Joseph in, um, the son of Jacob. Joseph. Yes, yes. 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 Ben, ben, uh, Mashiach, ben, Mashiach, ben, ben, exactly. But that's not the point because he doesn't have a father, so he has no genealogy. So he has a fundamental flaw. He can't be the Messiah because he doesn't. Do you understand the point? If Jesus did not have a biological father, then which genealogy are you? Talking? Either you're talking about Joseph or you're talking about Mary, because both of them have mother and father, biological mother and father. But because Jesus did not have a biological father. The only way you can trace his genealogy is through his mother. And according to Judaism, that is not how genealogy is traced. It's always traced to the father because the Judaic, sorry, the nature of, uh, uh, of, of a tribe, or sorry, how they, how they represent as uh, a genealogy through, uh, by tribe is through the father, not the mother. Your Jewishness may be through the mother, yeah? But your tribe is through the father. Your Jewishness. Rabbinic Judaism says that it's through the mother. No. No. <laughs> we, no. <laughs> Definitely. Real Jewish Judaism, not the new ones that came up in the last 150 years, say to be Jewish, your mother has to be Jewish, or you can convert. Yeah. Or leave that second. And to your genealogy, as in which tribe you go through through your father. That it says clear out in the Bible, yes, in the Old Testament, yes, there's no yes, questions yes, about yes, it. Yes, yes. So, so you got two problems now. One, the fact that he did not have. Uh, any lineage through David because he didn't have a uh, biological father. Secondly, his Jewishness is known through his mother. So your, the God that you worship is actually Jewish, not Christian. Yeah. When I say Christian, I mean for, not following the laws of Christianity. Not somebody following Christ. Yeah, he's one of us. So if you want, I can show you the real light if you want. <laughs> I can show you the real light. He was circumcised. He did not eat pork. Yes, yeah, so he kept the, he kept the laws of uh, Moses, which shows that he's actually following the laws of God himself. And he's not God himself. Do you realize that? He, he was fully, fully divine and also fully human. How, so can, how can a fully divine being worship God? You believe in the Trinity? Yeah, he does, yeah. So you're quite Catholic, I imagine. No, no, no Protestant. No, no, no. Protestants believe in the... Uh, they do, yeah. They all do. The mainstream Christians, Protestants, Catholics, Orthodox, they all do. Okay, so the Trinity is another flaw, which all is good. The Trinity is also flawed in essence. God, what, it's God in three parts, three single entities. Maybe with two, one, one, and the third one doesn't. How would you define the Trinity? It's, it's a big, it's a big, it's a big, I describe it by looking at Hebrew scriptures and um, saying that um, from uh, Deuteronomy 6 4. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't mention the Trinity in Deuteronomy 6 4. That's a Shema. I'm just coming to it. Shema Israelu Adonai Elahinu Adonai Ahad. Maybe my pronunciation is not right, well, but there's no Hebrew. mention of there's no mention of Ahad. Trinity in there. Okay, Ahad. Yes. The okay. whole religious faith is based on the Shema Israel. What he was saying, well, yes. Shema Israel, Adonai okay. Elahinu Adonai Ahad. Listen, O Israel, God and two names of God well, is one, one. Yeah. is okay. one, a single entity. He's saying the term but Ahad gone. Finish it. Ahad also means uh, uh, means alone, as, as in the, 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 the message of the prophets was that you should well, you have no other gods before. Me. Sorry, um, uh, was that you should have no other gods. Yeah. Worship God alone. Yeah. So. Um, so the, the Ahad can also mean uh, uh, mean uh, uh, alone. No, it means one. It does mean one, but it also means alone. No, it doesn't. When he talks about don't worship other gods, he uses when, other when you're talking in no, context of God, it's always one. It's only one, uniquely one. Yeah. It's the, yeah, it's the core. It's the core principle of faith. It's one of the thirteen core principles of faith. Yeah, that God is only my My mother means it's one of what that God is only one. He's a single entity, not a multiple entity. See, this is what we agree. Ahead, yes, the same Arabic ahead. Judaism and Islam are very, very strict on the monotheism. The beliefs, the Shahada, when you take it, is La ilaha illallah. There is only one God. Allah is only one essence. It's the truth. It's the that's what because the. Faith, we originate with difference on many things. Yes. But that's not but it, uh, we, when it comes to Tawheed and Shema, they're very similar. We 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 originate, so to speak. From the the oneness of God is unique. Oneness of God. God is an omnipotent yes. being, which yeah. is a single entity. The second it's more than one entity, it's not omnipotent because there's two of them. Omnipotent can only be with a single entity. Once there's more, then your God isn't omnipotent. It's a three-part way partnership. Which yeah. You might want to help your friend. Yeah. Yeah. You believe in 
One if the Trinity is three parts, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Which is not in the Bible, actually. The Trinity man, the concept. God forbid, no. Stuck for Allah. Like we say. <laughs> No, no, no. When you say one God, you include the Trinity in there. But in Trinity, it's God is Elohim in unity. What do you mean in unity? It's Elohim. If it's unity, it means it's more than one. The definition of unity, which means it is like saying it is. It is like saying the definition. Are you teaching a Jewish person Hebrew? No, 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 I love that. Every time I come here, it's always the greatest time when people teach me. It's not plural. They're going to teach you Elohim is plural. Unity. The Hebrew and Arabic, the only language you have the plural of X. So you think the term Elohim is plural? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, I know you're talking to him. Okay, ask him that question. Because he's asking the right question to say that. There cannot be three omnipotent beings. No, no, you said Elohim is plural. Ask what's him that. Him? Ask him the question. We don't believe, we Christians don't believe that there are three gods. Never, never we say okay. there are three gods. One there God. is one God. Do you know that we God actually know. used the term? Sorry, I'm talking yeah, that God used the term Elohim for Moses, and Moses is not plural. We won't understand. Yeah. That. Yeah. By the way, just yeah. just to correct him, he said Elohim is plural, yeah. and I, I told him that God used the term Elohim for Moses. Moses is not plural. In Exodus 7. If you believe that this is revealed in the, in the New Testament, this is fully revealed. In it's the not revealed in the New Testament. Yeah. Yeah. Not the Trinity. So how is it? Where does it say God the Son or God the Holy Spirit in the Bible? Person, but but they also, one. Yeah, yeah. You'll find what God the Father, mean? but not God the Son. What is that? Very Spirit. good question. Um, I know, I asked it. I'm that great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling him. <laughs> I want to hear the answer to this good question. No, now. what does it mean that God is either three or one? The only way. Yeah. The analogy is The analogy some people have given is. But then compound unity. Let him speak. Wait, let him speak. Let him finish. Let him finish. Say again, say again. What is it? The three are one. Where does it say that in the Bible, the three are one? You you made a lot of uh, statements, but you have never substantiated so far anything about the Trinity from the Bible. Why is that? Even Jesus, when he prayed, he says, he, he says, our Father in heaven. He didn't say our Father, Son, and all this. Let him show us. Let him show us. A had is not a compound when he talks about God. Never. It's always one. Well, I must admit, he's a very good preacher because he speaks very slow and he listens. Yes. It's nearly more like what Jesus asks, so maybe we should take it. This is very good at this. Okay, you're going to show me in the Bible the three are one. Go on. I would really like to see that. You have to show me in the old Bible where it references, not the new Bible. Trust me, it's not even in the new. Okay, show us in the new Bible. It's not even in the new Testament. Oh, awesome. Let's get show on the road. Is that in Genesis? The Lord, Yahweh. Okay. Where Genesis 18, yeah, 18 11. 11. Let me see the Hebrew, you don't mind. Yeah, you sure? no, that's fine. If I go for the original context. Yeah. Read it, read it while he's you, looking the Hebrew. Yeah, give me a minute. Go on, read it. You want me to read it yes. No, no, in English. You, you read English. This, I'll I don't expect you to read in Hebrew, that's fine. The Just Lord read in English. The Lord, that's Yahweh. Yeah. And he sat in the tent, as he sat as Abraham, sat in the tent or in the heat of day. And he lifted up his eyes and looked. Uh, and looked and lo, three men stood before him. Three men. Three what? They're angels. Wait a minute, let him finish. Three what? Uh, not this again. Three men. <laughs> Continue, I've heard it sometime, but finish. Why are you saying they're said, angels? He, what? You said three men, right? No, three, three, three men, okay. Okay, go on. Three men stood by him and... Right, uh, he goes on to say... Um, no, no, before you fast forward, read the finish the statement. When he saw them, he went to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself to the ground. He said, my Lord, my Lord, if, if now I have found favour in your sight, pass not away, I pray thee for my servant. Let a little water, I pray you, be fetched, and wash your feet, and rest yourselves under the tree. And I will fetch a morsel of bread, and comfort you your hearts, after that you shall pass on, for well, thereafter are you come to your servant. And they said, so do, okay. as thou saw him. Yeah, so, so it says, Yahweh appeared first, to him. first and foremost, let's, let's realise one thing. You mentioned... Three men. Three men yes. Did the father ever become a man? No. Then which three men we are talking about? Uh, we need to go on and talk about more Old Testament. No, no. Look, you made a statement. You said yeah. this is your proof text. Uh, which is now we have realized that, uh, that uh, the father was never a man. So which three men are you talking about? 
It was the angels who came you in the form of a man. Now, I, I, they're angels, but let's go, let's go, let's say we agree that it's God. Where else do you show us? The only time, even in the New Testament, that of the three, of the three, even in the Old Testament, in the New Testament, the only time it says one of them appeared in the form of a man. Yeah. Jesus, the Father, the, Son, the Father and the Holy Spirit, even well, in the New Testament doesn't appear in, exactly. the, in the form, and they never appear together. So, if you believe that they're the same, show me where you get proof from. Is that the and best proof text you have of the three in one? Down, show me under the place where it says the three in one. It says there, that it says that they tell Abraham, no, no, same scripture, can't yeah, yeah. We're just going to go... Uh, my no, bro, we know that's not the angels. I think we should end it there. Yeah. Show me under the proof text where the three are one. Go on. That has failed, definitely. Show us more. Show us more. Anything from the New Testament? Read to him, Isaiah chapter 9. Yeah. Uh, You're going to show us the three in one, yeah? Because yeah, that's the question. Yeah, Isaiah okay. Chapter nine. Isaiah 9, go on. Yeah. I can show you. What, the three in one came in the Council of Nicaea, 3, 2, 5, I've seen. Yeah, I know, I know. That's, that's why the Trinity came I'm surprised they're showing it in the Old Testament. years after Jesus. Uh, yes. Which will be even more the only challenging. Time when it starts angels, and you prove it when it says, yeah, yeah, no. when yes, they tell to Abraham that his wife's going to have a child, yes. she laughs at them. Exactly. If it was God, she wouldn't have laughed. Absolutely. So they were like some kind of men. No, no, she, she. She was a lady, though, wasn't she? But we know the father never came in the form of a man, so and neither did the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I, I, you know, you have been around. I, I haven't seen this uh, young man before, so I, I think you know. That's uh, for his that's easy. Uh, yeah. yeah, right. Pray. I'll read to you what uh, you know. Remember the question. Show us the three in one. Yeah. Okay. About about the child born. And at the same time that he's a mighty God. Okay, right, read it. Read so, it, yeah. for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his saying. name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. So, who oh, is this talking about? Himself. Chapter 9, verse 6. There's, there's no please? Trinity in there. Please, let's, let's the question was no, about please, the Trinity. Please, please, please. No, no, don't say please. No, the question no, no, no. was about the Trinity. No. So anyway, if he doesn't want to talk. Too, too, you know, for a long time. Yeah, and, you know, and you have been around for a long time so as well. That's why you think you can just waffle this around. Is your scripture. He's or trying to prove Jesus is God from that verse. He's, God. He's not talking about so the Trinity. What, what, who, who is this verse talking about in your, in your uh, understanding? Isaiah 9, 11. Uh, is it 9? Isaiah 9, chapter 6. Uh, he said he's called everlasting father chapter when is jesus six. called the everlasting please, father please, please. never because the father is not jesus chapter, no, if he's called the everlasting nine, father then they are basically trying to be some sort of a heretic group of christians jesus and I and the father are one. Jesus and I and the father he also says i am the disciples are one john seven john seven john john 17 21 he says just like i and the father are one the disciples and I are one as well. We might have used that on that one occasion, but in many times Jesus, Jesus said that he, 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 was one, he was one he was one with God. Yeah, one in God in purpose, not in essence. Because he also says, My father is greater than I. As I hear, I obey. Yes? So he's clearly trying to distinguish himself from the father. For example, when he was asked the question. The context of that particular verse, okay? Which was that verse you just said. Um, when he says my father is greater than I? Okay, so are you telling me that the father is not greater than Jesus? I'm saying that they, they are equally they, they yeah. more. They, God the Father, they, are, they are one. They're, They're one in what? One in purpose? Yeah. Not one in essence. Then you should also believe that the disciples are one, one with the Father and Jesus. Have you read John 17, 21? Go and read it. Just one verse. I have to look at the whole context. Okay, I've got another scripture I was trying to prove about the uh, divine appearances. Sorry, about? In, in, the, in the Old Testament, you know, about how God, God could appear in human form. Which God? God. Which God? The Father? Yes. The Father, the Father appears in human form? Yes. Are you sure? The Father takes on flesh? That's when? What I was trying to show you in Genesis. Uh, okay, read it. Let's see. That's why I just referred to it in Genesis 18. Um, Abraham saw three, saw three men. I mean, who, who, who were those three men? They were the angels. We already mentioned that. The, the angels can take a form of a man. Yes? How does this prove the Trinity? Like when, when the Prophet Muhammad re received the revelation, yes? Or uh, received the message from Angel Jibril, he would come many times in the form of a man. But it says that Yahweh. Or, or when the angel came to Mary. Mary yes. Mary, yes. When but Mary got the message. It says right at the beginning of Genesis 18 that the, the Yahweh. Yeah, what Yahweh? Uh, appeared to uh, Abraham. So are you telling me Yahweh? And he saw three men. Okay. Abraham saw three men. Let's get one okay. thing straight. So are you telling me that the Father took on a human form? 
anytime no, during no, I think that's what's really Okay, saying. maybe maybe you're not aware. I, I suggest you go and ask your priest and try to confirm this because right now this is not a mainstream Christian teaching from what I know. Unless you are one of those heretics who believe, when I say heretics, I didn't mean in a negative sense. It means those people who, who believe something contrary to what the mainstream Christianity preaches. Okay? Like for example, there are some who consider, uh, there, there are some, certain Christians who just came to that I met, they are modelists. So they believe that the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit are the same person. Sometimes the Father acts as a Son, sometimes as a, as a Holy Spirit. So that's what I'm saying. The, those are they consider yeah, themselves yeah. as Christians oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they consider you as heretics. You see what I mean? I know, I know. So there are fringe groups yeah. in Islam, in yeah. Christianity, I'm yeah. sure in Judaism as well. Yes. yes? Yeah. But the mainstream as well, as far as I'm concerned, never believed in Christianity oh, yeah. that the Father well, ever came down in a human form. Because in the Bible, in the Bible. Yeah. If you read Malachi chapter yeah. three, verse six, yeah. it says he does not change. God the Father yeah. Does not change. What, what was the context of Matthew 3 verse 6? Malachi 3 verse 6. Read it. Well, you got the Bible on you. No, he's got my Bible. He's got my Bible. Uh, in, the new, in your concept of God, so do you believe that God can have a God? In the old book, not the new one. I'm old fashioned like that. I like the old things. Okay. You haven't shown me the truth. Sorry, what did you ask? God, in his belief, yeah. in the concept of God, does he believe that God can have a God? Oh, I see. Yeah. Good question. No, but that wasn't his question. Listen to the question again. He asked, did God, does God, the Almighty God, does he have a God himself? The question is because Jesus had a God. No, but did he have a God? He claimed he had a God. I just showed you John 17 3 and you read it as well. Okay, he was fully human, also fully divine. Okay. He say, so he, he well, that's your statement, fully divine. He was also, as you said yourself, yeah. he, he also was born under Jewish law. Okay. He, he kept the Jewish law. Yeah, yeah. So he would pray as a man to God as his father. Yeah. Okay, so Should you not? In, in, in that sense, you could say that. But that he as, as, a, as someone who follows Christ, yeah. whom, you, whom you call a Christian, yeah. should you not follow in the footsteps of Jesus? And then there's the fall again. So if Jesus worshipped only the Father as his God, should you not follow the same example? Why would you go against him and follow the church instead? Yes, you do. Because the church in the fourth century is the one which concocted this uh, triune God doctrine. This is not this is not something that Jesus preached. Jesus during his entire ministry did not ask you to worship a triune God. This is the church. In the 4th century, in the Council of Nicaea, Council of Constantinople, where they established this worship of this triune God. But I've been trying to show, and I haven't had an opportunity to go through all the Old Testament. No, but your translations vary you know, between also, the Aramaic one God and the Hebrew. God also in, 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 in human form. You know, one thing I find strange is that when you have a clear-cut, unambiguous statement from Jesus Christ, why do you go searching elsewhere? As to who the one true God is. Tell me, does anybody other than God the Father have this title of the only true God? Yeah, it doesn't say the only true God. And even that is talking about the Father, not about the Son. No, he says his Son, Jesus Christ, and then it goes on to say the only true God. Sorry, the, the true God. He also says that he, he the son is in, 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 in the is in the only true God. He doesn't, he doesn't yeah, himself. it's talking about the Father. The only true God is the Father. Otherwise, you will be contradicting the statement of Jesus Christ. Imagine if I said, listen, if I said you were the only one here having a flat cap. Yes, that shows exclusivity, does it not? If I said you are the only one with a flat cap, that implies exclusivity. That means nobody else is having a flat cap. Now. If I say, if you say that I have a flat cap and somebody has a flat cap, then it's not exclusive anymore. So either Jesus is saying 
that only the father exclusively holds this uh, title. The only, only true God. Yeah, I think they're getting a bit loud. Anyway, we, we'll try to we'll try to we'll try to make sense from each other's conversation. Hopefully. So what I'm saying is that if Jesus has already stated that the only true God is the Father, this is an exclusive statement about the Father. Yes. And then if he goes on to say that, oh, the Holy Spirit is the only true God, Jesus is the only true God, then we get three only true gods, that means three gods. You see what I mean? That, th that makes it even worse, that makes it polytheism. That, that makes it three gods. And you, of all the people as a Christian, would never say you worship it, you worship three gods. Exactly. God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. They are three distinct persons, but they are also one. Yeah, but that's your statement. You can never substantiate that from the Bible. It would take me a long time to go for the scriptures. Okay, I'll tell you what. You mentioned. Yeah. You mentioned the statement: God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. The only phrase I found in the Bible, and this is including every single version of the Bible that you can come across in English. God the Father is the only phrase you'll find. You'll never find the phrase God the Son or God the Holy Spirit anywhere in the Bible. In any version. Go on, find me any and I'll say. So do not make statements which are not even in the scripture. This is your own spin. Just for, just for, for our purposes, for definition. You say no, but your purpose is, is the Trinity. You see what I mean? Your purpose is to, to, to establish the Trinity where it is not. The triune God. The triune God, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the triune God is not in the Bible. This is your statement, which is extra biblical, just like the doctrine of the Trinity, which is also extra biblical. It's not from the Bible. Well, show me the three in one. I've been asking you. You showed me three angels so far. Sorry, three men, three angels who came as three men. Jacob wrestled with God. Says in Genesis. Sorry, say again. Jacob wrestled with a man. Okay, Jacob wrestled with whom? Was that man father? Okay, go on. Which God? God says in the Old Testament, no one can see God and live. I, have you heard of that statement in the in the Bible? Okay, so if Jacob saw God and he lived, that means that couldn't have been God. You see what I mean? Either God is lying or Jacob is lying. One of them is definitely lying. Because the the two statements are contradictory. I agree with you. It says that no man can see God, but he he may have not seen God face Sorry, say again. Not have not have seen God. He may not have seen God face to face. How can you wrestle someone and not see them face to face? No, but you use your common sense, man. Come on. He said to Moses, "What? That he couldn't see. He couldn't see. He couldn't see his face. He had to see. His, God said his goodness would pass to him. He would only see his back. His backside. So, so, so Moses saw the backside of God, but not his front. Yes, because he was told that he would." But Moses wasn't wrestling with God. No. So. Okay, well, it doesn't make sense. Imagine this. When you say he was wrestling God, I want to know first, when you say God, was he the Father, the Son, or the Holy Spirit? Which one was it? Which one was he wrestling? I believe anyone that was wrestling. The Bible doesn't tell us. Okay, but say again? It does say you don't know which one? It does say that he wrestled with a man. Okay? He wrestled with a man? Yeah. Okay, so once again, you are implying that God became a man even before his incarnation in the time of Jesus, Jesus' ministry. Yes, that, 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 that is a possibility. Okay, okay so who became man? The Son or the Father or the Holy Spirit? Um, I'm just saying it's a possibility, okay? Which one? From the three? All three? Um, what, 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 why, why, why is it important? It's very important because the fact that in the whole of the New and the Old Testament, there is no implication, sorry, there's no reference to any, anyone saying that the Father became a man. This is not even the teaching of the uh, of the mainstream Christians. Unless you are from some fringe group, I don't know. Are you? You said you were a Protestant. Is there any a Baptist? Okay, even the Baptists don't believe this. Go and ask your. Sorry, say again. No, no, they they might have a liberal theology, but go and ask your. Your deacon, I don't know, what do you call your... Yeah, we had it this morning in church. Yeah, so go and ask your priest. Ask him, does the father ever take the form of a man? Just ask him this question. So they, they agree with this. 
that the, the father became a man. They agree, they, they make this no, statement, yes? We say that God appears in, in human form, okay? Yeah, but when you say God, look, to you, the Son is God, am I right? To you, the Father is God. To you, the Holy Spirit is God. All of these three persons are God. And that's, that's the reason I'm asking you, which one became a man? Because as far as I know from the mainstream Christian preaching, it is, the, it is the son who becomes a man. The father never takes on the form of a man. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Vegar and I'm a Norwegian Muslim convert. I'm working with the Dawah organization Islamnet to establish the Deen of Allah here in Norway. I am so grateful to Allah for having guided me to Islam. Sadly, I am the only Muslim in my family. It hurts me that my parents haven't accepted Islam yet and I ask Allah to guide them. But it also gives me a special drive to work for the establishment of Islam. I don't want anyone to miss the chance of becoming Muslim. The Prophet wasallam said that the Muslims are like one body. If you can feel my pain, would you please help me relieve it? You are now my new family. Click the link and donate to establish this masjid and share in the reward for the message of Islam reaching the corners of Norway.